Number 11. Death Road, Bolivia If you're considering a road trip through Bolivia, you might want to avoid an infamous passage called the Youngest Road. This dangerous track climbs up to a height of 15,260 feet, or just over 4,600 meters above sea level, twisting and turning along a jagged rock face. The road's only 10 feet or just about 3 meters wide in some spots, with no guardrails to protect you from the 2,000 foot or just over 600 meter plunge below. Dust clouds from the badly maintained track obscure visibility, while humid breezes from the jungle next door cause rainstorms and mudslides on a regular basis. It's no surprise that this stretch is known as the Death Road. It's a literal death trap waiting to happen. Despite its dangerous reputation, the route is still used by countless reckless drivers. Cars, trucks, and lorries have to frequently pass one another, leading one vehicle to teeter on the edge as the other goes by. Between 200 and 300 people died per year back in the 90s after losing control of their car and tumbling into the abyss. Thankfully, the Bolivian government constructed a newer, safer route in 2006, which most motorists use today. Who could blame them, after all? Death Road is now technically prohibited, but is rarely enforced. After all, the authorities would have to drive onto it too in order to catch someone. If you still want to take this path, keep in mind that once you start, there's no turning back, because a U-turn on Youngest Road is truly a death wish. Number 10. Snake Island, Brazil to visit this island off the coast of Brazil, you'd have to be literally insane. It's officially known as Ilha de Queimada Grande, more commonly referred to as Snake Island. Which might sound cute to some, right? Nope, you'd be wrong there. A squirming, writhing mass of roughly 4,000 poisonous serpents lurk beneath the island's tree line, ready to sink their teeth into unsuspecting tourists. These snakes are a rare type of pit viper known as the Golden Lancehead, which is one of Latin America's deadliest known snakes. Their venom contains hemotoxins, which cause flesh to melt, damaging red blood cells and causing death in less than an hour. These snakes are not to be trifled with, but how did they end up on the island to begin with? Snake Island was previously connected to Brazil's shore, but rising sea levels removed it from the mainland centuries ago. The stranded snakes thrived and multiplied to dangerous levels since there were no predators for them and lots of seabirds to consume. Golden Lance heads are now believed to number between 1 to 5 per square meter of the island, meaning visitors are never more than a few steps away from a squirming foe. The island's last known human locals were in the 1920s. Since then, other reports have surfaced of humans succumbing to the deadly predators in just a few minutes. The last fisherman who got too close to the island's shore is said to have been found dead in his own pool of blood. The island's lighthouse keeper was also attacked by snakes and died soon after. Since then, Snake Island's lighthouse has been automated. The danger is so significant that the Brazilian Navy has prohibited anyone except scientists performing important research from visiting the island. I can't say I'm particularly disappointed. It wasn't exactly on my list for a next vacation anyway. Number 9. Death Valley, United States Imagine a place so hot that you could fry an egg on the ground if you got hungry. Welcome to Death Valley, California, a boiling desert area where temperatures have risen above 134 degrees Fahrenheit or 56 degrees Celsius. And in case you're wondering, that is the world's hottest air temperature ever recorded. Deep craters in the topography contain pockets of hot air, while four surrounding mountain ranges prohibit rain clouds from collecting in the area, resulting in a permanent drought. As a result, everyone who visits Death Valley faces the risk of heat stroke and dehydration after a short period of time, with only one to three people dying each year from these heat-related causes. The valley's teeming population of deadly wildlife, including rattlesnakes, scorpions, black widow spiders, and mountain lions, should also not be messed with. To me, that sounds like a bit of overkill on Mother Nature's behalf. But if none of that is enough to stop you from going, whatever you do, don't take off your shoes. In 2017, a tourist was admitted to the hospital with third-degree burns after going barefoot in the valley, where ground temperatures can reach 201 degrees Fahrenheit, or just about 94 degrees Celsius. It's also worth noting that just because you can fry an egg on the floor, you shouldn't. Park rangers spend hours each day cleaning up shells and empty cartons under the hot sun. Bring a pack lunch instead, you animals. Number 8. Marianas Trench 
what's 1,500 miles or 2,400 kilometers long, 44 miles wide or about 71 kilometers, and crawling with monsters? No, it's not the line at your neighborhood McDonald's, but good luck with that. We're talking about the infamous Marianas Trench, the crescent-shaped gash in the seafloor located between Hawaii and the Philippines in the South Pacific Ocean dips down 7 miles, or just about 11 kilometers, into the Earth's crust, making it the world's deepest known point. In fact, the Marianas Trench is so deep that Mount Everest's top would still be 7,000 feet. That's some serious depth. As you might expect, the Marianas Trench isn't the best place to go for a casual swim. The water is pitch black and only a few degrees above freezing since sunlight can't reach the waters. At the bottom of the tunnel, the pressure is bone-crushing 8 tons per square inch, or a thousand times the usual air pressure on dry land. So even if you wanted to swim there, it'd be a short trip. Any pockets of air in your body would suddenly collapse under the weight of the water if you exited a submarine at the bottom, so bid farewell to your lungs. And if that wasn't bad enough, consider how thousands of people have scaled Mount Everest and only about 20 have ever explored the Marianas Trench. As a result, we know next to nothing about what could be lurking in the water shadows. Would you be brave enough to explore the trench? Let us know in the comments, and if you liked the video so far, be sure to subscribe for more cool content like this. Number 7. Skeleton Coast Namibia the names can reveal a lot about people and places, and the northern part of Namibia's Atlantic coast is no exception. It was named the Gates of Hell by Portuguese mariners back in the 16th century. While the bushmen of Namibia's interior dubbed it, quote, the place God built in rage, it's currently known as the Skeleton Coast, and as eerie as its name suggests, it's no beach haven. Sound enticing? The Namib Desert, which includes the Skeleton Coast, is a huge and harsh wasteland where finding drinkable water is practically impossible. That means even if you're right next to the sea, if you don't have your own properly stored drinking water, you could easily die of thirst. If that wasn't bad enough, the dunes are home to vicious predators like desert lions, hyenas, cheetahs, and jackals who are ready to devour any wandering travelers. The bleached bones of their prey are strewn across the sands as, as a chilling reminder of the Skeleton Coast. And there's even more to this coastline as well. Take a walk across its golden dunes and you'll come across the rustic remains of nearly 1,000 shipwrecks. Strong currents, submerged boulders, heavy fogs, and roaring winds make the seas in this region extremely perilous. Because of this, ships have wrecked on its coast for hundreds of years, adding to the region's ever-growing collection of eerie tales. Imagine surviving a shipwreck only to be stranded on a deserted beach with no water, a lion infestation, and the remains of victims victims everywhere. Sometimes, I suppose, life just isn't fair. Number 6. Lake Natron, Tanzania This isn't the kind of lake you'd want to have a summer barbecue at. The high levels of sodium carbonate that drain into Lake Natron from neighboring volcanic hills make the water very alkaline. As a result, the lake's pH is almost equal to ammonia, and any animals that aren't acclimated to its caustic conditions will be burned quickly. Also, when an animal dies in Lake Natron, its bones are dried out and eventually transformed into a hard, calcified shell by the extremely salty water. The water in the lake also appears crimson due to the presence of halocaria. Microorganisms thrive in salty conditions and create deep crimson pigments, adding to its menacing, otherworldly look. But haven't you heard that blood-red, water-coated, and petrified animal remains is the finest picnic spot? Well, maybe in hell it is. Number 5. Runet Island, Marshall Islands Consider a lovely tropical island for your next vacation spot. There's sun, beach, and palm trees. Oh, and don't forget the massive concrete dome crammed with radioactive waste. Wait, what? Yes, you heard that right. Runeet Island in the Marshall Islands, located between Hawaii and the Philippines in the Pacific Ocean, is home to a large radioactive dome. Between 1946 and 1958, the U.S. military utilized the Marshall Islands as a test site for 67 nuclear bombs, wreaking havoc on the area's natural ecosystem. The largest underwater nuclear detonation ever was at this site back in 1955, and the ocean's force was so powerful from the blast that it sank nine ships and caused cancer among those who got near the clear waters. Parts of the region are still uninhabitable 60 years later. In fact, a coral reef there no 
known as the Bikini Atoll is currently 10 times more radioactive than Chernobyl, according to a 2019 study by Columbia University experts. So what did the U.S. do to address this massive issue? The military attempted to decontaminate Runeet Island in 1977 by burying radioactive waste beneath a 350-foot or just over 100-meter concrete dome. But unfortunately, this structure was never intended to be a long-term solution to the problem, only a quick fix. And it's already cracking, posing a potentially hazardous problem for the environment. Number 4. The Elephant's Foot, Chernobyl, Ukraine did you know that if you went to this spot in the picture, you'd be dead in five minutes? Yes, that's correct. The elephant's foot is the name of the strange, alien, goo-looking thing that was at the center of the Chernobyl disaster decades ago, one of the greatest nuclear disasters in all of history. It started when the number four reactor of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Ukraine erupted in 1986. Massive amounts of radioactive matter and fuel were spilled and shot into the air, with radiation from the blast reaching as far as Sweden. The 1,000 square mile or just over 1,600 kilometer Chernobyl exclusion zone is still considered unsafe for human settlement years later, while carefully regulated tourism is permitted in some cases. But one area of Chernobyl is off limits to all visitors. That is the elephant's foot, which is actually a big lump of corium, a lava-like material generated from the mixture of nuclear fuel and melted metal that poured out of the reactor after it first burst. As of 2019, the foot is contained in the Chernobyl New Safe Confinement, a protective steel building that took nearly two decades to build and stands taller than the Statue of Liberty. You're generally secure while standing outside the steel dome, but if you got inside, the consequences would be life-altering. After only 30 seconds in front of the elephant's foot, the high-energy radioactive particles interacting with your body would create nausea and dizziness. Your cells would start to die in droves after two minutes, and you'd be dead in five. One thing is certain, avoiding the elephant in the room has never been more vital. Number three, Valley of Death, Russia. With the United States having their death valley, Russia didn't want to feel left out. Now, while you may believe the name Valley of Death is overly dramatic, as you learn more about this mysterious location, you'll understand why it's called that. This place, known as an animal graveyard, can be found in eastern Russia. The history of this valley, which remains an unsolved mystery, has many puzzling, brain-scratching stories. According to folklore, a hunter came across the strange region in the 1930s while ascending the Kitsch Falconer. They found territory with no vegetation or plants, and it was covered by dead animal remains. The explorer soon became nauseous and chose to leave. As word of the mystery realm spread, many people attempted to solve the puzzle and return with the correct solutions in mind. Around 80 human lives were taken by the strange spot, much like the animals. Scientists discovered that high concentrations of poisonous gases are emitted by the volcano nearby. It's a mixture of hydrogen sulfide, carbon dioxide, and sulfur dioxide that would kill the living creatures in minutes while preserving dead animal bodies for years. As the deadly gases built up in the animals' bodies, they prevent the bacteria responsible for decomposition from completing its purpose, which is the reason why the bodies were found scattered throughout the area. As one might think, the Valley of Death is closed off to visitors. The only way to get a glimpse of the land is to take a pricey $700 helicopter tour. Number 2. Kawa Ijen Lake, Indonesia these hypnotic, blue lava-like rivers of light may look like something out of a sci-fi film, but it's actually the deadly, poisonous Kawa Ijen Lake. At the summit of the Kawa Ijen Volcano, a gorgeous turquoise lake lies, and at night, electrified blue flames can be seen rolling down the mountainsides. The lake is filled with hydrochloric acid, which is more corrosive than battery acid and it's formed when the hydrogen chloride gas released from the volcano interacts with the sulfur-containing gases, and a violent chemical that is unimaginably corrosive is then created. George Coronis, a Greek-Canadian explorer, had a chance to visit this deadly site. The adventurer sailed out into the acid lake in a small rubber boat to test its acidity. It's just a poisonous lake of sulfuric acid, after all. What on earth could go wrong? The pH of the water was measured as negative 0.13. Even though this volcano and lake are clearly dangerous and deadly to humans, miners continue to risk their lives on a regular basis to collect the accumulated sulfur. George recalls watching these miners hard at work and how the only protection they had was a wet rag stuffed into their mouths. Sulfur dioxide gas still leaked through and dissolved away at their front teeth. Kawa Ijen Lake, as beautiful as it may sound, is one of the most dangerous places on our planet. 
Number one, Syria. Our final entry on the list is a historical and culturally rich country, which has unfortunately been ravaged by conflict and violence for centuries. Currently, Syria has been in a civil war for about nine years, and it's multi-sided, meaning there are three to five different factions fighting each other at the same time. State departments around the world have issued warnings that no region of Syria is secure from armed group kidnappings, arbitrary arrests, chemical warfare shelling, and aerial bombings, all of which represent a considerable danger of serious harm or even death. The loss of infrastructure, such as medical institutions, schools and power and water utilities, has only increased the challenges within the country. Therefore, it's best to avoid Syria as a travel destination in its current state. Hopefully, in a few years, tensions will die down and peace will thrive in the region. Thanks for watching. If you had to pick one of these places, which one would you choose? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time on The Bad Badger.